Hi guys, welcome to yet another Block Spotlight and this time I'm going to be looking at the macerator. Uh, I've got two macerators set up here. The first one is the standard macerator and the second one is an upgrade from that which is um, the rotary macerator. I had to check the name there. So the bog standard macerator which you get from Industrial Craft 2 has upgrade slots down the right hand side um, a little energy bar in the middle so you can see when it's powered it, it will need power and I'll go over the kind of power it can accept and that at the moment is also telling me how long it's going to take per operation and how much power it needs per operation as you can see there it says 400 ticks now there's 20 ticks per second so that's 20 seconds for every operation and it's going to take 2 EU a tick while it's working so that's uh, the basic one the advanced machine upgrade of that, the rotary macerator um, it's got two output slots only one input slot and that will work a lot quicker what it needs before um, in, if you give it a, a redstone signal it will maintain its speed it does need to to warm up if you like to maintain a a decent RPM decent speed as the RPM increases the speed increases now the recipes for these the basic one which you will want to get fairly early on in the game uh, it's fairly easy to, to make but you will need to find rubber uh, just three bits of flint across the top a couple of cobble either side of a machine block with an electronic circuit below the advanced upgrade of that you've got the standard macerator in the middle with an advanced machine block below and surrounded by refined iron so if we show them in operation here I would show them in operation if I actually had myself some ore prepared so let's get a bit of ore so this guy here is just connected to a battery box and that's going to output low voltage which is exactly what this guy needs and as you can see if we put something in there it is working extremely slowly as I said 20 seconds per operation and yeah that's what you start off with but as you see you put one ore in and it will actually give you two dusts eventually it will give you two iron dust so it's a way of doubling up your um, your ores now the rotary macerator as you can see it's turned off at the moment um, this will work from an MFE which outputs 128 this is medium voltage now there is another mod around um, that has a rotary macerator that has upgrade slots but runs on low voltage I'm using this one which runs on medium voltage purely because that's more in keeping with the original industrial craft induction furnace idea so as you see I've applied a redstone signal to this and it's gradually speeding up if I put one in there you can see it's going a lot quicker than the other macerator but still fairly slow that's because it's still um, spinning up to speed now here to show you what you shouldn't do if I can grab a, a regular macerator this is a, a medium voltage output and it's a low voltage machine you do not want to connect a low voltage machine to a medium voltage uh, power supply because it explodes and you'll lose your machine luckily we didn't lose that that power block there so what you need to do is you need to use a low voltage transformer and that will allow you to connect to the medium voltage power supply without any problems so you always need to bear in mind what voltage your machines can accept 
and more voltage your power is. Okay, this uh, this guy here should have got up. Is it going a bit faster now? As you can see, it's going a lot quicker. Still not at full speed, so we'll come back to that. Now, what we've got over here is we've got uh, the bog standard macerator, and inside it we've got some upgrades. So we've got an MFE here with no power in it. See if I can steal some power from somewhere. Uh, do we want a lap pack? Fully charged lap pack. Do. That's this one. So what we've got is we've got a, the bog standard macerator and we've got some upgrades. The upgrades we're using here is the transformer upgrade. That's why it's not exploding on a medium voltage power supply. We've got an energy storage upgrade, which means that we can store a lot more energy inside this machine. And we're using some overclocker upgrades as well. Now hopefully this tooltip should update. There you go, you can see how much energy the machine will hold now. Um, 160,000 DU. So all of that energy from the lap pack is going straight into the machine because this machine can hold an awful lot of energy and it needs to because we've got 16 overclockers on it each operation is one tick so it will it will get through 20 ores in one second this is just to take it to an extreme you wouldn't normally want to use that many probably want to use half half that many that amount as as a maximum because this is really not efficient taking over as you can see 3600 EU every tick so for every item it's gonna work on it's gonna use up um, three and a half thousand EU which is far too much so as you can see this is gonna get to a stack extremely quickly so that's taking it to, to an extreme uh, just to give you an idea of what uh, the upgrades can do and this guy here again same idea actually I don't know why I've set this up twice basically to try and show you that you might be able to put enough power in to actually keep this running so I've got three MFSUs which are outputting high voltage with two transformer upgrades to try and keep the the power level up while it's working with all those overclockers on it it's a very extreme example you would never really do that uh, it's still got some more left so let's go back and see how fast this is still not up to speed but as you can see a lot quicker not quite as fast as those over there but fast enough to make it worthwhile the upgrade because those overclocker upgrades are quite difficult to uh, I won't say they're difficult to make they're quite involved process of making that and you probably wouldn't want to be using uh, energy storage upgrades you might want to get into transformer upgrades but it depends how your uh, energy network set out so that's the macerator uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, catch me on my Twitch stream every night at 7 pm BST. Hit follow there and you'll get told when I go live. Or hit subscribe on my YouTube and you'll see my next video. Thanks for watching.